Oh, look, that actually worked. Hello everybody and welcome back to Angie's Seams and Pockets. Today I have these three wonderful forks in front of me and I will be testing out the fork pleat hack. Supposedly, I can use these forks to make perfect little pleats that will save me a lot of time. So I'm gonna adjust my camera real quick so you can see my workspace better. And I've prepared a couple like scraps of fabric over here. Um, and let's get started. To start the fork hack, I um, obviously need a fork. So I ended up going to the kitchen and grabbing three different sizes. So this is a like serving salad. Um, size fork. It's honestly super giant, but I figured if you need to make giant plates, this would be perfect. Then I have your kind of standard dinner size fork, and then a small little salad fork. Along with the forks, I also grabbed three different types of fabric, just so we can have a little bit of variety to see which possibly work better. I'm gonna start off with the wool, um, and we're gonna see if this fork hack even works. Um, now, I didn't watch any videos on this. I have just looked at pictures online of people using the fork, and what I believe they do is they stick the fork in um, with one of the prongs sticking out, and then they twist. Um, and then I will stick a pin into it and we will see if I can get the rest of this fabric um, pleated into the same shape. So it looks like it's working. I'm gonna take these out super quick so I can test the other sizes and we'll see if those equally work. confirm that the dinner size fork work as well. One thing that I'm finding a little issue with this is you have to kind of eyeball the measurement of each plea. I'm sure if you were to go in here and mark out a specific measurement of where the fork needs to fall it might be easier. But since I'm just freehanding this and this is a scrap fabric and I'm not actually making this into a skirt, it doesn't really, you know, matter. Um, so I'm now going to take these out and I'm going to test the small fork and just see how it works with the thicker fabric. Obviously different size forks can be used for different size plates. I just wanted to make sure that all of them worked and I think it's actually a very very simple way to do this. This is such a time saver. I literally did three different types of plates in just a couple of minutes um, of filming. Imagine how quickly it'd be to pleat something like a skirt when working on a full size project. So this one was more of like a normal straight pleat um, and on this piece of fabric, I'm going to try um, to do a box style pleat, which is more of my favorite kind of pleat whenever I make clothes. Don't know why, but something about that pleat just is a lot more fun for me. So I'm going to, again, go in. Um, this time I'm going to start with the smallest fork. Whichever way you want to turn the fabric, the prong needs to be under the fork or it needs to be on top of the fork. So if you're on top, you're going to go up. If it's underneath it you can go down all right so i can definitely confirm that it is possible to make box plates it took me a minute to figure out how to work out the spacing but as you can see it does work with the little guy i'm assuming it'll work for the rest but just for you know fun I'm going to take these out and do them with the dinner size fork and with the um, salad serving fork. The 
the box pleats are obviously a little bigger than the other ones. So I'm noticing that the spacing between the pleats is depending on the size of the spacing between the prongs of the fork. So um, it measures out from the edge of the second one to the edge of the fourth one. If you're looking for a specific size of pleat, you can kind of just measure out that distance on the fork and that will give you the perfect size. Um, now that I got these little box pleats done here, I'm going to set it over here and I'm going to try working with the last fabric that I grabbed, which is this very thin, transparent um, chiffon. figured out that you know all sizes of the fork do work in making the pleats so I'm not gonna um, use more time to test out the different sizes on the chiffon but as you can see here um, this method works on very thin transparent fabrics it works on um, thinner material fabrics it works with the more wool type fabric um, obviously my next step if this was an actual project would be to take my iron and press it flat and then sew over it with a basting stitch to keep them all in place before attaching whatever part of the pleated garment it is to what other pieces it um, attaches to like if this was a skirt this would go onto a waistband or if it was a dress it would go onto a bodice it works in normal pleats it works on box pleats I'm sure there are other types of pleats you could test out with these for my biggest question was if this hack even works and if it saves time and my final verdict is that it does it absolutely saves time all right well that's all I have for the video today I am sorry it's short and it's not the scuba skirt like I originally planned it to be thank you for sticking around regardless and watching this video I hope you learned something I'm glad you were here to experience this with me together with that being said Please subscribe to my video, visit my Patreon, and I will see you in the next video.